Welcome to Dresselmania. Guys, I have to say it in my Vince McMahon voice. I can't help myself. I love it. I love it. Well, you do a really good VKM, I have to admit. Oh, VKM? <laughs> do you ever yeah. say that to him? Do you ever go, oh, hey, no. VKM? I feel like real proper when I say that that way, though. VKM. It's wow. very like, hey, bud. Hey, hey Vince. And you get I feel like that's too casual. Like, hey, Vince. I'm like, no, that's weird. I can't just call him, hey, Vince. I, I should be terrified. Saying, like, yeah. But when I say BKM, oh, that's cool. Now we're bros. Like now we're. Yeah. I, I, do that cool. side, that side, that, that handshake. We get the, uh, like the guy do. Do, guys do that. That weird. I feel like I can get that in with a BKM. Whereas yeah. I'm like, hey, Vince, I feel like I'm still like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but either way, I don't like I that side say... hug too. I hate that side hug. It's a weird. It's a, it's a I think they're just trying to be macho and just like not to yeah. be too mushy. I don't know. <laughs> Well, this is not going to be a macho show. This is all about the ladies because Dresselmania is in full swing. Oh, yes, that's a hashtag. Dresselmania, this ha was a fantastic idea that we had, and now it's come to fruition. Dresselmania, if you're unaware, this is why we're having this fantastic episode dedicated to hashtag Dresselmania because it's all for a great cause. And ladies, this coming from just an idea to now being in full swing with so many supporters so many tweets so much love that we've seen from the fans and from our friends can you believe it oh it's been incredible and the women who've like donated because you know you're asking a lot for these women to, to take their time and pick these dresses that they obviously had we all when we pick our clothes when we pick our dresses for the stuff you put a lot of time and love into that moment so then for them to donate this up for but it's such a great cause you know the girl up campaign has been incredible and i think what they do is remarkable and i think our sisters who donated and took the time and, and have delivered, like, it's just, it's amazing to see. Yeah. It's amazing. To see. Yeah. 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 And then it's, it's, it's just going to grow. I think next year is going to yeah. be like, like bigger double or even triple bigger. amount of, of dresses. Right. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, big shout out to all of our friends that donated their beautiful dresses. Oh um, we're, those we're are hard so to part grateful. from. They're hard Those to are. depart from. Yeah. yeah. I'm so, so grateful. Yeah. There's so many. We, we thought we'd ask a few of our friends, and then it snowballed into everyone being super generous. And we're going to actually uh, go down the list of everyone that has donated. You guys will love all these beautiful dresses, some of which we have on display right now. But as Mickey said, we are here because this is all for charity. And every single year, we're going to pick a charity. This charity, Mickey, I have to say, this was something that um, was uh, through WWE and Stephanie McMahon. And it's a very trusted charity that through them you discovered right well yeah it is their chosen charity and I think especially with what we do and we, what we talk about here on the show a lot is women's empowerment and you know the ability to use our voice and stand up for what we believe in and be and be able to do that with your girls behind you and fearlessly rather than stepping on toes or whatever and that's what this girl up campaign is all about and it's just really really amazing especially within sports because our it's such a male dominated industry, what we come yeah. from anyway. So I think that we relate to that so much, but Lisa, you say it all the time. We wish we had something like this when we were younger, because it would have really yeah. helped us learn those lessons or gr grab that power within ourselves earlier on. And so, you know, later yeah. which is right before now, and it's like those bumps and things, but God, I could have taken over the world. Exactly. It would have, it would have taught us to be strong, independent women that fight for a spot instead of be going, oh, let me pick and choose my my arguments backstage. You know, oh, I don't like this angle, and just being like the yes, yes sir, yes ma'am kind of girl. But it teaches you to you know be like, and also the equal opportunity. You know, right. uh, it's just yeah, Girl Up is an amazing charity. I'm they so, are, I'm and so they're all happy. about gender equality, as as Mickey mentioned, all about female empowerment. And we want to give you a little bit of insight into Girl Up and why we chose them. There's a bit of information here, and a, of course, in the YouTube description, you can find out all about them and their website, which is girlup.org. Make sure you go to their website to find out more about them. But just a little few notes here. So Girl Up was founded by the United Nations Foundation in 2010 and continues to work across a global community of partners to achieve gender equality worldwide. That's what Lisa just mentioned. It's all about gender equality. Uh, and mm -hmm. this is a direct quote from them, actually. They say, no matter their background, girls have the power to transform themselves, their communities, and the world around them. Girl Up is a global movement of empowered young women leaders who defend gender equality. Through leadership development training, Girl Up gives girls the resources and platform to start a movement for social change wherever they are. 
For those who stand with us in this movement, there is no rest until we achieve equal rights for every girl. Because when girls rise, we all rise. Think about that quote. When girls rise, we all rise. I love that. We want to say yeah. a huge thank you to everyone at Girl Up, especially Kirsten, who has been so, so helpful, and Nicholas at WWE. Now, WWE has been amazing in helping us get the word out. And I have to say, what's so cool about WrestleMania is that we have ladies from all different aspects from wrestling. We even have some people outside of wrestling that have donated. But girls, I mean... I'm not even sure that we believed we'd get this many dresses this year. And as Lisa said, it's going to grow and grow. We hope to do an event next year, hopefully in person, maybe a runway show with the dresses. Maybe oh, some my God. Yes. Oh, my God. Cocktail hour. Red carpets. We are rolling out the red carpets. We are having a runway show. We're going to put these dresses on again. I feel like, I mean, you know. Yeah. Just going to kick her ass out of here real quick. But, like, I honestly feel like if this... And that was kind of the intention. I think that we have to say, Val, like this idea, you talk, you said this last year and we talked about it. It was like, we had just started doing our show. No way to pull it off within like four months. But even this year when we had talked about doing it, I think we were worried because we we're like, oh, it still hasn't opened back up. And we was like, yeah. oh, I guess we're just gonna have to wait till next year. And we're like, you know what? Let's just do it. And let's just do it online and see what it does. And the momentum and the love for it has been amazing, but I have to take my hat, if I had a hat on, off to you for bringing this dress mania, because the minute we heard it. Oh, yeah. Right? Thank the you, yeah. dress mania, we're like, oh. Luckily, all of the girls have been super involved, and I think the idea came from the fact that I love fashion, I love wrestling, and I think that, you know, with Gaw TV being focused on female empowerment. Yes, we love our male fans. We love everybody that supports our show. But, you know, this show is very much about female empowerment. And we wanted to get into the world of philanthropy. And we thought, well, fashion, wrestling, um, you know, female empowerment organizations, what can we do? And this was something that we thought, hey, all of our friends have a dress laying around, right? That they had, they wore in a red carpet event or they wore in a photo shoot that, and we sell a lot of our items online that we know this is not just a dress to some fan. Yes, it's a dress that we wore, but this is like a collectible to them. This is something they can display. Yeah. They can, it means something to them. And we want to give back and give all of those proceeds to Girl Up. So we have such an amazing list of ladies that have donated. But first of all, before we get to our dresses and, and who's donated, I have to ask you ladies, because this is still an episode of God TV, even though it's a bonus. <laughs> Who are you wearing and what are you drinking? What Mickey, drinking? let's go with you first. <laughs> well, before we even get to that, I want to tell everybody else, so don't forget to hit that bell icon. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Oh, and our special roll I yeah, love we're that. we're so focused on Dresselmania. You Mickey, have a lot of bells. Do us a favor. Right now, like, oh, well, before, because we're still now, we're, we're really in it. We're in it deep. But I just want to make sure you've hit that bell icon and that you've liked it. And maybe subscribed and told a couple friends. Maybe gone down in the comment section and told us what you thought. How much you love us. Or Please. hate us. Tell us that you hate us. You know what we're going to do? Delete it. It's fine. <laughs> Your we'll favorite. Block, block, block the block, block button. Yeah. Block, yeah, right. That's fine. This is still an episode of God TV, so we're still going to do the same thing, telling you to like, subscribe, <laughs> click that bell. And who are we wearing? What are you drinking? Mickey, I have to go to you because you, you're you looking pretty right. in pink, and I want to know Thank how you. you created this look. Oh, <laughs> I really just threw it all together. Because <laughs> I was like, what are we wearing? And you said blazer. And I was like, ooh, blazer. I like the idea. Girl, I'm wearing my workout pants and my tap out tank top underneath. I just wanted to class it up for you guys. Oh. Marrying the two. I got some, some Lulu earrings on. A lovely top knot because that's the best I could do with this jacket. <laughs> oh. I actually wore this at a child help gala as well. Oh. Blazer gala. mania maybe next year? Maybe yo, this is a, it's a blazer. It's blazer. a blazer with these. Pow! Look oh, at these. yeah. Oh, wow. Right oh my God, they're glittery. Oh, oh my God. Where did you get them? Oh, oh my God. Pretty little yeah. thing. And this blazer, dude. The shoe, and too? The shoes, too. Yes. Wow. Flexibility counts. Wow. I think you'd hear well, a creak if I did off. that. I'd be like, ooh, here's something sad. No, but they're also Reebok yoga pants underneath of them, so that's why. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> you know, for when you have to go to the gym and the office. This is such a that's mom dressing it up look. Like yoga, yoga clothes with some boots and a sport coat. I love it. Exactly. Sport coat. Oh. And also, it's also too, I knew you were wearing some heels. I knew it because when I when we were boxing, 
I heard click, 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 and I go, she's freaking wearing pumps. I'm Meanwhile, such a heavy walker too. I am not like a dainty. I'm a clump, clump, clump. It's like a Clydesdale. I'm just, I'm just popping so huge for for sports coat because that is the if that's not the most Vince McMahon thing you've ever said in your life. What am I gonna put on my sports coat and go to WrestleMania? Yeah. Oh, you just compared me with Vince McMahon, and I just got like my shoulders went back. Like <laughs> he's inspirational, is he not? What confidence! I want to yeah. walk like I that. Be like him. We like had that like, back in the day in WWE. We had a contest who can walk like him. <gasps> I um, cannot do a good impression. Could, could you? That's why my hips are out. <laughs> <laughs> Not from and all the many lie. matches, but that Vince Not McMahon walk. Just, just from trying to walk like him. <laughs> <laughs> are you drinking? Are you, are you are you enjoying a libation as well, Mickey? I am drinking a lovely. I figured. Welcome to. This is a, a dark Ziffindel. Oh. Freak show. Oh, freak show. Yeah. My, I don't think I've ever had the, this. So, um, Zippendo, I don't think I've had this. I've had them before, but not this blend. So yeah, but the really Cabernet. Good. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's good. It's, huh? uh, there's a Zippendo. It's, yeah, it's really good. It's from California. This Ooh. was like a 2010. I don't know how, what that, how that means vintage. 2017 is vintage. I have no idea. I don't know. But it is nice. I'm going to top it off here. Lisa, yeah. what are you wearing? We have to talk about your dress in a moment. Oh. What are you actually wearing tonight? I am actually wearing um, a sparkly top because I thought uh, it'll go with the theme. You were, you guys were saying you were gonna wear the blazer. I put the blazer on, but it looks like I'm just, it doesn't fit this outfit. I don't know, it just, I don't know. I felt not very beautiful. And just, your glasses are gorgeous. You know, my Ross and Betsy Johnson jet glasses. Those glasses are a big hit because Bailey they was are. reading about them. Yeah, she found them. I left them by the wrestling ring um, when we were like, you know, out there and, and as she took them, she took them she goes are you locked you got your glasses like oh they're my favorite glasses and she brought them back to me they're i know so i know cute. i love them they're i love beautiful. them and i i got my top at target oh i love target, target? That's i fancy. couldn't believe it and then you know i'm doing also maybe the mom way i'm wearing shorts <laughs> who oh, are you wearing shorts shorts too. is it business on top shorts business. shorts shorts yes and i am not wearing any shoes there no, you go. That's a sneak peek. All you foot fetishes. Yeah. Say that for Patreon. So, uh, and I'm, I'm also like, I'm also on good old, on Patreon. Exactly. Um, I'm on a kick of Chianti. Chianti? Um, I love Chianti and it's Nip Nipozano. Nipozano? I don't know. Oh. I've never had it before, but uh, it's a little, Chiantis are drier than cabs. And I think you'll love it. I, honestly. Um, yeah. But, I, you know, I like my cabs. But I got on the Chianti kick. You and Kevin and Nash with your Cabernet Sauvignon. I know. And it just, you know what stinks though? I just noticed my teeth are getting super stained from my coffee in the morning and then my red wine. I drink mm -hmm. a half a glass of red wine, a few sips, and I get like red wine mouth like that. I don't know Me why. Too. Yeah. yeah. Black tongue. Black tongue. Old, old black tongue. <laughs> old black tongue. <laughs> old black tongue. Old black tongue. That's an inside joke that if anyone that we know is watching, they will understand that. Um, fantastic. I have not, I do not have the bottle with me, but I'm drinking my Slim Rosé. It's my favorite. I might not have the bottle because it was getting very low. I'm not going to lie to you. We're all friends here. That's a heavy port. It's, it's a friendly Was port. that the fancy bottle? Was that the fancy bottle? Oh, is that that pretty bottle? Yeah, it's that pretty bottle. Line that has Slimline wine, which is um, zero sugar, zero carbs, zero calories. Gorgeous. Nice. It's my now, it's my it's my new go-to. I drink it all the time, very often. We'll just sidebar that. I am wearing Ripple <laughs> Island, little uh, chartreuse number. We were trying, I'm like, it's kind of yellowy green chartreuse. Char chartreuse. Beautiful. I Beautiful. love River Island so much. Beautiful. Yeah. I think and where are your beautiful. earrings from? Your earrings are I believe these are Zara. I've had these for ages. You know what why they're like so that. fun is because they're clip. They're so cute. I love them so much. Um, but so now cute. we've gotten into who we're wearing, what we're drinking. But now I want to ask you guys about what's behind us. And we have a list of ladies that have been donating dresses. But I think we should start with us. Go around the board. Mickey, first of all, we have to start with you because not only did you select a wonderful dress, but you had the fans actually vote, vote. on what dress you were going to donate. Yeah. Um, I let the fans dress on three different Jonathan Kane dresses who I love Jonathan Kane project runway star. He's got, he's here in Nashville. 
he dresses a lot. He dresses Reba. He dresses a lot of the stars now on the different red carpets and stuff, but personal, like one of a kind dresses for them. But this dress is a Jonathan Kane. And so he's amazing. So this is the one the fans voted on. And as you can see, it's like Swarovski crystals <gasps> all in the front here, just like all the way through the whole neckline, a keyhole. And then it's these sequins, like hand beaded and sequined all the way down through the bottom and the train. It's this dress is to die. Like, that I way. literally that might look, that looked heavy. I up our stuff, I look at it and I'm like, oh God, I love this dress. I, may I might bid on it, Mickey. Time. Like you might see me wearing it on a future episode of God and I'm not even kidding and not telling, depending on how high the bids get, cause I'm frugal, I might be like, hi, welcome to God. This is my new dress and it's Mickey's well, dress. This yes. is something that he did in this dress, which I found this is really great, is this keyhole, there's a zipper. So if you oh, are, yeah. like, if you need, if you were to wear it to a different event that wasn't, that you didn't want to be as, you know me, I'm like, but you can zip it up to an appropriate, whatever length that you yeah. felt that you would feel comfortable. Like that was the really, that's what I like really love about his style of dressing and stuff too, because he really does take a lot of that stuff into consideration of like yeah. people's different styles, who's buying the dress, like from older women to younger women, what they're, what's appropriate for them and their age or what's like all that, or like what people seem that way. Like, yeah, you know. Yeah. Well, as you guys are watching this, obviously we're going to be putting up pictures the entire episode and we want to make sure that you're encouraged to bid now. In the description, we have the link to the eBay page that has all of these dresses. Bid now, bid generously for this amazing cause. Mickey, I have to say, I don't want to play favorites, but when you put up the three dresses, I thought that dress yeah. is so stunning. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I that was my vote too. Dress on the red carpet at the American Music Awards. And I was there with... Um, my Reba. I'm at the time. Was Reba no, there too? Celebrity fight. Oh. No, I went with Alexa. Oh. Alexa Bliss was there too on the red carpet. We had some pictures done in that. And I was promoting my single, the left, right, left song with the Yin Yang Twins, my single at the time. So that's so cool. And we're at a very high profile event that also I think is very important when you're deciding single. on which dress to bid on. I think that's amazing because it means something to you. And that dress, my God, I mean, I, don't, I can't even imagine dress. what that retails for. Well, I know. I can get the number and we could Google it, but. I think I'm bidding, I'm bidding on it. So okay. it's gonna get real competitive up in here. So listen, <laughs> listen, that James 152. Like stunning on you. It would look it stunning. Would. It's it blue, I love blue. Oh, yeah, it's, it's very Val too, yeah. Shall I? Beautiful. Lisa, speaking of No, why don't you go, I'll go last. You go really? next. Yes. Well, thank you for that. We actually all picked gowns. And in my head, I was kind of thinking, you know, for Dresselmania, I just kept picturing, at least for myself, for my sort of character, I always got, thank God, hallelujah. I'm not sure how I finagled that, but I got to have a character for the most part that wore a lot of gowns and got like, you know, very, very fancy. That's what I enjoy, uh, the Miss Elizabeth style stuff. So I really wanted a gown. I had some beautiful little cocktail dresses that were, you know, sexy and all this jazz, but I really wanted to um, to donate this dress here. So you can see it in my New Year's Eve photo shoot. It To me, it sort of encompasses all the things that are very so Val, right? It's got a lot of bling a lot of sparkle it's sexy it's low cut uh, beautiful uh pattern i love leopard uh sort of an ombre a lot of different shades of, of bright colors in there very flowy as you can see in the pictures i'm kind of like holding it up making sure it's a, a twirl worthy moment so my dress means a lot to me it's one of my favorites and i was so careful wearing it the couple times that i have worn it because it's very delicate you can see with the bead work it's a lot. I hope that it gets some good bids because I love it. I will personalize it to the winner. I'm also including uh, a lot of extras with it, a video shout out, a uh, lip, lipstick printed kiss card, some eight by tens and some extras just from me to you as a thank you for this wonderful cause. And again, wow. I get very attached to my clothes. So this one yeah. was, is, I hope this goes to a wonderful home. Yeah. That's and yours, it doesn't even do it justice behind you. Like the photos are so, the, it's very Thanks. vibrant. Thank you know, yes. when you just have it back here, you have it behind you, it just doesn't look, you're like, oh, it's a dress. You right. know what I mean, right? It's it, yeah. it's, it's beautiful. It's whether, whether someone's displaying it, which I would be honored if they displayed it or someone wants to wear it, it's it's really one that I thought really um, spoke to me and, and was was dear to my heart. So as as is the cause. Lisa, I was really happy that you picked the dress that you picked because really? we actually put this on a different episode. We were talking about how glamorous you looked and you were so generous to donate this exact dress. Oh my goodness. This was like, uh, it's a dress where you, um, I'll be on. I love this dress and I love beige. It's, you can't tell the color right here. Ash calls it a nude illusion. 
Dude yes, illusion. and it's very sheer. Do you remember, Mickey, when I was putting this on? I, I wore it at the 2018 yeah, SPs red carpet, and Mickey and I attended that I together. And um, we to get into this, oh my gosh, it's very sheer. Look, at, I, I had to put the things underneath it just so you can't see through it. Peekaboo. Uh, Peekaboo. I see you. Yes. Mickey, you have to get a mannequin. We got to get you a mannequin. Oh. But yeah, I know. Uh, I love well, your cute Mickey, little mannequin. Let me tell you though, once you get it, you ha it takes a. I don't know if this happened to you, Lisa. It takes a while to get used to because you think someone's in your house when you walk in the room, and yeah. you're like, "Oh my god!" I'm like, "Oh, it's just Miranda. It's just Miranda." It's just <sighs> that's my name, my mannequin. Mm -hmm. I have some other good pictures of us together in that dress. Somewhere. Do you? Yeah. I could, Yeah, I try to Google it. It's really hard. Like a, a few came up, but I already had those. All of you that are watching, I'm sure, I hope that you're following us all on our personal social media accounts, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and all that. And we're posting extras of our specific dresses with videos and throwbacks to where we wore it. And all of the other girls, uh, their personal social medias are going to be in the description as well. So make sure that you're following all of us and anything you need to know about where to get these dresses is on gotv.com or just click the link in that description to get to all of the dresses and bid now, don't delay. But um, we have to get you our list of other ladies who have donated so far, and the list is star-studded. We're going to start with one of my personal favorite WWE divas, uh, Tori Wilson. Now, Tori Wilson is shown here wearing a beautiful beaded metallic dress worn at the Ooh. WWE Evolution pay-per-view red carpet. Girls, I mean, first of all, what must it be like to walk around looking like Tori Wilson. I mean, Tori Wilson. <laughs> what the hell? She's so beautiful. She picked a gorgeous dress for us, worn at a WWE red carpet event. We're so grateful for that. She was our first announced Dresselmania participant. Doesn't she look fabulous? Stunning. Beautiful. Absolutely yeah. stunning. Yeah. As she Stop always does. Dress. I'm just like, I love Tori so much and she's just <sighs> incredible. And then for this specific dress at the red carpet of the first ever all female WWE pay-per-view. Yeah. Like for that hands, like, like that's a pretty, Pretty freaking awesome. So yeah. that's what we call a collectible, ladies and gentlemen. And I have to say, the first gal to um, jump at the chance to be a part of WrestleMania because she has such a big heart and we love her. She's a friend of God, friend of ours in real life. ODB, bam! Yes. She has donated a fantastic dress from a really, really cool pay per view, Bound for Glory. And it's actually also featured on a trading card, which Lisa, I believe she's including the trading card in the auction as well, right? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. And she was like, um, uh, sending me pictures. How about this dress? I'm like, yeah, any dress, any dress will, will, will be fine. And this was a special moment that she wore this too. So yeah. um, thank you for that. She doesn't own a lot of dresses, you guys. So this no. is a big deal. And we would have accepted ring that. gear and things like that. But I do like that she found this dress because I remember this dress very well in Impact Wrestling. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, she wasn't going to give up that wedding dress, you know? No. <laughs> like, does she God, dress? I wish I could have yeah, donated my wedding dress. She's the only one who donated ring gear, like actual in ring gear. Yeah, yeah. Aside from Christy Hemi, who was it was from an in ring a television event, but hers was actually she wore it for a pay per view, and she's worn it for a couple, probably a couple of televisions and stuff since then. But yes, that's the you know. Yeah. Otherwise, it's, it's a dress, which is perfect because that's such, and it was such a staple of her wardrobe. She pretty much had that in almost every color. Totally, so. totally. Yeah. And speaking of Christy Hemi, here's her fabulous dress that she donated. We love Christy Hemi. And this is actually a really beautiful gown that, again, I might be bidding on it, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, look out. Christy, <laughs> I'm not kidding. You think I am? I'm like, wow, 300 bucks is actually a pretty damn good deal for these dresses. Um, um, yeah, I love this one. Christy is shown here wearing the dress in the <laughs> very romantic wedding of Christy. Impact Wrestling stars Brooke Hogan and Bully Ray. She was a bridesmaid. And uh, yeah, sweet moment. It's a very sweet moment. That marriage didn't last long, you yeah. know. We could have said that the get go. She never listens to us. Never listens to us. Brooke, <laughs> you should have ran. You should have ran, girl. But Christy, thank you for donating that dress. She's amazing, oh. and we were so happy to have that from an uh, like Mickey said, uh, television or pay per view live event. That's amazing. We love Christy. Um, also, we have Melina, another close friend of God TV, who's been on the show a few times. Our gal Melina donated this beautiful orange uh, printed number that she wore in a very exotic tour, a WWE tour in Madrid, Spain. And I love this photo shoot of her. It's a gorgeous dress. This would be, again, maybe I'll bid on it. This is a <laughs> single gown. I'm like, I could wear that here or there. I'd wear this to cocktails yeah. by the pool. So summer. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I love that. Maybe don't. I love the flow. That. 
don't yeah, sign maybe it. don't sign it. Sign it to Put Val. On the inside. Yeah. yeah. And you know, originally when we posted this, um, she thought she wore it in France and mm -hmm. some fan corrected it, say, no, you wore that in Madrid. Isn't that crazy? Oh, I love She's that. Like, oh my God, Lisa. She boxed me. I, I didn't wear it in France. I, a fan just told me I wore it in Madrid and I go, it's okay. We'll just change it. It's okay. But yeah. yeah. I yeah, love the fans, and by the way, so helpful, us helping us figure out, like, some of these outfits. We wear so many different things, especially you guys with the tours you did and stuff. My gosh, it's hard to remember, right? I can't, can't remember. remember half those things, so, I mean, it's great, but I wish the fan would have corrected her before I had already made the eBay listing, because I tried to go in there and fix it, <laughs> yeah. and it would not let me fix it, and, you know, we're doing, I don't hardly use that eBay, we're using it for this, like, the last time we did, I think we used the eBay was for the charity, the Mick Foley charity, and Foley. I think I have my cds from 2013 that i still have like i don't know a thousand hard copies of that are still in my ebay store i love that but, yeah i'd like one get to I shop would like it. one i Make have it downloaded on my it's on my phone not i thought you had a hard i would I'll give you one i, I have you okay several. yeah I, I want one yeah, give that's one to all your friends give it to everybody in the in the building <laughs> that's the perk of being mickey James. is it included friend? with your dress <laughs> yes it's included with the dress guys <laughs> There you go. There you From go. From each of us. <laughs> yeah. With love. With love. Another fantastic former WWE diva, one of my faves, Candice Michelle, donated a beautiful dress. And there's some fabulous pictures of her signing the dress. A beautiful penmanship, by the way. Very pretty mm -hmm. cursive writing there. Candice Michelle donated this gorgeous silver metallic dress from the WWE okay. Hall of Fame. I mean, this is a stunner, this, this gown, as is she. So yeah, always. absolutely beautiful. And I guarantee when you you get it, it's going to be sprayed with her perfume. No. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, don't you do that, Val? Maybe. <laughs> she Maybe I do. do. Like mothballs. <laughs> yeah. I got to get the mothballs out of it now. Yes. <laughs> oh, take some of that. Sorry, Chanel. She, she, did, she did a virtual signing and then she had to ship her whole box to Wrestling Asylum. And then he said, oh my God, I'm choked. So sorry, because we do audio messages. He was choking because she sprayed everything in there with her Aww. perfume. He goes, yeah. <laughs> I so love that personal touch. I also send like handwritten thank you notes, like a lipstick kiss print. Like I love that kind of stuff. Cause I'm a yeah. big, yeah, I love it. I, I need to I do love that. I think I'm, I need to do that. Yeah, I'm right, going to put an smart. eight by 10 in with my dress. You guys inspired me. Mind you me. said that you were sending some eight by 10s and it's like, oh, but I will put that. Now that you say this, I'll put the album in there too. Ooh la la. We just That's got another nice. exclusive right here on this bonus episode of God TV. Um, another one of our gal pals, I'm, Gail Kim. I'm I call her Gail Kim. What's I'm that? Like, I'm going to toss in one of my little all, all, all star pints in that too. In my, oh, in my dress. look at that. Ooh. Little fan. I want one of those. Out, we're all challenging each other. What can you donate? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give my phone awesome. number out. I'm kidding. Uh, video, thank you. I mean, she's doing like a handwritten oh, thank you. I know. Now it's really doing it. Oh, I will do a I, video. I, we should, we should. I was like, that's yeah, so me sweet. too. I love that kind I think, of stuff. I think we should all three of us um do the video shout out as well, right? Yeah. I think we should. Uh, no pressure. It's fine. No, no pressure. Yeah, or, well, now you're putting out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we are here now. You have to do yeah, it. Yeah, wait. Let's do that. Another one of our generous friends, Gail Kim, donated this gorgeous, gorgeous tangerine dream of a dress from oh. the TNA Hall of Fame. I kept saying to her, this is going to be such a beautiful dress to sign with that beautiful uh, solid color background. So uh, Gail Kim, this dress was an absolute treat to, to list for us. And we love Gail. Again, we wanted to have girls from different... Um, Backgrounds in wrestling. Gail Kim is obviously from WWE, Impact Wrestling, and such a good friend of ours. So thank you to Gail for donating. I love this dress so much. That color on her is stunning. I know. She's so tan. Yeah. Yeah. It, she can wear any color and it looks good because her skin tone is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know? Yeah. She's got the best skin. I said yeah, stunning. You do, you do too, because you have that but Native I'm American. Say that her, didn't she wear that when she got inducted into the Hall of Fame? Did she yes, this was her Hall of Fame. This is the this TNA Hall of Fame where she was inducted. Oh, wow. It makes it even more special. It's not just like she wore it at the Hall of Fame. It was when she was inducted into the TNA Wow. Hall of Fame. Yeah. Yeah, because she did so much work behind the scenes with knockouts, even like both yeah. on screen, but behind the scenes. Same with Christy. You know, we say that. Yeah. The, a lot of the girls that are involved in a lot of this is a, the ones that are really have been on the forefront of like trying to lift up the women from day one, which is awesome. And that I love that so much. So, yes. and it goes right in theme with what we're talking about, which is women supporting women and female empowerment. Yes, ma'am. Um, I love that. And speaking of female empowerment, you know, we didn't want to just have 
strong grown ass women from wrestling. We have some fantastic yeah. additions, which I have to mention first, Ginger Minge, which wow. was my birthday surprise on Gaw TV. And these ladies, I have it too, have uh, some fabulous mm -hmm. merchandise that Ginger and CJ sent to us and I treasure it. Look at that. Bless her heart. So cute. We love Ginger oh, no. Minge. Ginger Minge wore this oh, beautiful, I was so shocked by the dress. When CJ told me she was gonna donate, I thought that was the sweetest thing that she would join us yeah. in this mission. But she also don donated a dress that was so important and such a powerful, powerful, iconic dress. So Ginger wore this dress uh, to the Logo Trailblazer Awards where she sang the song, I Am What I Am, which was right after the Pulse nightclub attack in Orlando where I'm from. And when CJ said that, I told this to Aaron and Ash and some friends that know her and love her. And we all got chills and said, wow, this is a super, super important piece of history. This dress is very important. It's gorgeous. Ginger, yeah. thank you. It's amazing. Thank you, Ginger. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank Who much. knew like what a, she is amazing. I feel like we've made best friends. I know. I don't Can even I know how this happened. It was like yeah. by some blessing, it was just whatever. I felt like it was meant to be because yeah. Yeah, we're like best friends now. I know. Well, we, we we're expecting you to do a, a song with her in the future, and then oh Val being a judge. Yeah. I have her album too. Look, yeah. gotta get on yeah. that. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Do it. And, and then sure. and then Val and will then be. What would WrestleMania be called, WrestleMania be without you know some celebrity cameos? Because right. That's, that's what we do. That's right. And Lisa, you secured a fantastic addition. Another friend of Gaw who was on an episode of Gaw TV. Obviously, you're here on YouTube. You can go find the episodes of Ginger Minge uh, just a couple weeks ago. And then, of course, Claudia Wells from Claudia Back Wells to the from Future. Back this to is the future. nostalgia. Yeah, she donated yes. a fabulous dress. And this dress, as you can see here, this dress was worn for the Back to the Future 30th anniversary red carpet event. I mean, what a star she is. Wow. I'm um, cool. She's amazing. And she was like, she keeps on texting me. Thank you for including me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we're so honored to have you yeah. participating in this. Are you kidding me? And that's such a, a special dress worn I'm on the, beautiful. come on. Right? Yeah. Isn't she sweet? She's, She's such so a girl. We, She's I, so sweet. Yeah. Thank and you it so much for that, that introduction with her. She's incredible. Her episode, I remember having her on and then oh, just yeah. learning so much about her even from after you know, the show, because that show was so popular. I think it was a show of all of our childhoods. Like, we knew that movie back, you know, back and forth. Back to the future. Back to the future, yeah. even, yeah. But yeah. I, I appreciate that, because it's not just that, you know, this is a, a, a wrestling-themed event, hence the pun, wrestle, Dresselmania, like Wrestlemania. But this sort of makes it um, more of a global thing. You know, we've got kind right. of the sci-fi, Comic-Con world. We've got the drag yeah. queen world. How exciting is that? So thank you guys yeah. uh, for uh, accepting our fabulous celebrity cameos and Ginger Minge and Claudia Wells. And ladies, we also have a fabulous addition in Kayla Braxton, who Lisa, um, you actually, <laughs> you put her on the spot on WWE The Bum and said, Kayla, join us. Yeah, we're doing this WrestleMania. WWE is supporting us as well. And she goes, I'd like to donate a dress. And I was saying, well, get my phone number. One of the guys, they, they can contact me. And I finally heard back. And I was like, oh, we need it really soon. Like, And she's actually filming the day we're uh, for the Hall of Fame. So we're going to be getting that dress up soon. And thank you so much. I did put her on the spot, though. You can't say no yeah. on camera, right? No, yeah, I know. Like, oh, that was very yeah, smart. No. Yeah. What's she gonna her. say? No. She done it. She done it anyway. She's. Amazing. I think so too. She's such a sweetheart. I love her so much. Like, honestly, she's a good, like, just genuine, good girl. Yes. Yeah. She we gotta have her on the show. Stress. We do. Thank you, Kayla. We should. Yeah. Yes. A future Gaw TV guest. Of course, she's a grown ass woman. I love her. What a sweetheart. Um. Yeah. We also have saved a few WWE gals that are a part of a show you might have heard of total divas we saved the very best for last and we thought why not uh end the celebration do a big grand finale with three of our favorite stars from total divas first of all naya Jax donated not only did she donate just a dress this no. is the dress that naya Jax wore in the e total divas premiere graphic as you can see here it's beautiful she sent a video in you can see it on her social media as well so what beautiful. a babe what a babe oh my god she is already a babe and I love Naya so much just yeah. as a person and I yeah. incredible. She has, 
I love working with her. I love her backstage. I just love her heart and her soul. But this dress, she just freaking owns it. And she's so stunning. I mean, just yeah. yeah, look at that photo. Yeah. Yeah. Bow! I think she's, yeah. she's she's amazing. Like that yeah. you instantly bond with her when you meet her. You yeah. know, she has an infectious, like just she, her personality is just, you know, a girl it, like you can hang out with her all the time, you know. Yeah. A true grown ass woman, a true boss babe, strong lady. We so appreciate Nia Jax being involved in this, especially with a dress that's, you know, from Total Divas, like from, from the exactly. artwork, from the graphic, exactly. from their actual, yeah, I was really surprised and impressed by that. So thank you so much, Nia Jax. Um, we also have a friend of God. You can go back and watch her fantastic Thanksgiving Day episode with <laughs> Natty, Natalia, oh, Natty Nightheart. I love her so much. She yeah. is the most lovable ever. And she this really dress... Is. Ladies, not only are you seeing this dress here that she wore, but notice the fantastic boots. Natty, our girl, is not only donating the dress to Dresselmania, but it's not really a bootamania, but now it is, because Natty is donating the dress and these sexy boots as well. So you're getting two uh -huh. items, well, three really, a uh, pair of boots and a dress from the fantastic Natty Natalia from WWE. Ladies, she went above and beyond to help us out here. I love this. That it's so wow. funny because she was one of the first girls that we reached out to as well because she had been on a previous episode and dude i was not expecting you know you never know what to expect but i was like i told i was like i might you say that i was like i might buy that outfit actually because yeah I, I do like, like that too how nice shoe she is it's so cute so it's cute. i she know wore it from like a 2015 valentine's day photo shoot Ooh. so yeah perfect so, uh, it's just she, oh, this is back when we to used to go do photo shoots. I would love to go in her closet. Um, I, would, I was thinking, remember when we were talking on Boxer about it, I said, I'm actually really interested to see what she'll donate because she's really into fashion. She knows her designers. Yeah. And she's very, Gail always told me, she's like, you would love Natty on the road if you saw her, what she, what she wore because she her really knows fashion. fashion. And oh, she delivered, ladies. She totally, she has like a whole thing don't, like dedicated to her. What is it, like style of Natty or whatever. That, that pulls her outfits and like then they show where she wore this outfit or where she picked it up whether it's a louis vuitton belt or whatever and i'm like amazing wow she, she knows her stuff she is a student of the fashion game for sure <laughs> and ladies last but not least our fantastic fabulous friend soraya aka Paige from wwe pulled through with this gorgeous beyond stunning i mean babe alert look at this dress Gorgeous from the 2018 WWE Hall of Fame. This is such a sexy gown. Mickey, you remember this gown really well. She donated this for Dresselmania. Bid now, okay. guys. Look at this. How beautiful. Unbelievable. Beautiful. I remember seeing her in this dress in person, and it was at the 2018, I think, Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. um, and when she walked, I was like, oh, my, oh my God. God. Yeah. Is, you are so beautiful. And you know me. I will tell yeah. somebody quick, right? Here's yeah. the thing. If I don't say anything, it's probably because it's not. <laughs> I'll remember that. You are, you are no, the first I'm kidding. person. You're I'm always the first person to say, oh my God, you look so great. Oh my gosh. I just yeah. think that I was just like, whoa. I think it complimented her and her body and just everything. And it was just fiery and sexy and just, you know, without Perfect. trying to be, you know, it's just, yeah. it's yeah. so, it yeah. was just really, really sad. And she was another one. Not only was she a former guest of Gaw who had come on the show prior, but we kind of reached out to her last minute. Like it was kind of, she's like, yeah. oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, whatever you need. What a bad. Yeah. 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 Total totally. superstar. We, and we, 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 we play on, be on our show again. I, I did say, hey, when do you want us back on your Twitch show? Because we, we had, remember the, the computer malfunctioning and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. We never completed our show. We need some Twitch crossover. I think we should get more into Twitch. If you guys think we should get more into Twitch, please comment below or tweet us because we've been dabbling in it. And we want to know if you'd like to see more of us maybe in a live setting on Twitch. We do have a God TV Twitch. And oh. if you'd like us to get on that a little bit more, we will definitely take it into consideration. Um, mm -hmm. But ladies, uh, before we go, we have so many amazing um, dresses up for sale. I'm talking right now. The auctions are happening right now. They're ending on April 7th, Wednesday, which is a God TV day, yeah. April 7th. Everything will be done. Don't delay. Don't just watch. Yeah. Make sure you bid now for this amazing cause. Look at Lisa doing the Vanna White. Thank you, Lisa. Well, and you have to make sure that you're following and watching because not every dress is ending on the same day. Like, right. uh, yeah. Tori's dress ends on Monday. And then the mm -hmm. ones that, you know what I mean? Like every dress is kind of ending, but all the dresses will be done by Wednesday. By the 7th, yeah. yeah. Yeah, which is really so. exciting. So keep an eye. Don't yeah. just watch. Make your bid now. Make sure that you don't miss out on these collectibles, pieces of history, 
you won't be disappointed in how um, fantastic they're going to look in your collection. It's all for a wonderful cause, and everything you need to know is on GawTV.com. And, of course, it's right here in the YouTube description. Bid now for this wonderful cause, Dresselmania, the first ever Dresselmania, one of many. This is our virtual edition, and you don't want to miss out. We're so grateful to all of you who are going to support us and send your bids in right now. Again, go to that description right now. Click those links because time is a ticking. Get those bids in. But ladies, before we go, I want to ask you about a few things that you have going on that are WWE related because we just talked about Lisa on WWE, The Bump. Mm -hmm. Mickey, you have some stuff coming up this week because, I mean, Mania Weekend, it's all about WrestleMania, but it's really all about WrestleMania. So tell us your sketch. Oh, man. It's kind of like got thrown on me a little bit last minute, but they're just getting ready to release, which should be out now. It comes out on the 6th is the playback with Trish Stratus, which we sat down to watch our WrestleMania match back from WrestleMania 22. And um, it was actually at the WrestleMania match where the women were the main event. Of wow. WrestleMania for the first time ever. So that was really cool. And um, yeah, so that comes out this week. And then I also am going to NXT TakeOver for the Stand and Deliver show. Yay! Free show for prior to the... So yeah, so I want to... I'm so excited about it. I'm so yeah. super stoked. It's going to be fun. Um, I'm really stoked. But I will say that I can't be in the Gaw TV chat on Wednesday live the whole time. I may pop in. Girl, yeah. it's mania I'm gonna weekend. In. I'm going to try, but yeah. please be understanding if I'm like responding to something random, like yeah. potatoes. I, I just know. said mania weekend. That's actually incorrect. It's mania week. It's like now week. become mania yeah. like a few it weeks. It is the whole week. We it understand. The whole entire week. Yeah. And that's a good week. time to remind you guys that when you do bid on these items and they end, that most of our gals are either involved in WrestleMania directly or they're involved in, in wrestling and conventions around WrestleMania week. Okay. So please be uh, very, very patient with us while we get all these shipped out to you and personalized. We'll always be in touch. You can reach us on all of our social media accounts if you're the winner, which I hope that you are. But Lisa, I mean, how excited are, for you, are you for Mania week? I know that you're going to WrestleCon. You have a lot of I'm events. going to WrestleCon and I'm um, so excited about it. I'm gonna be rooming with uh, Melina Perez. Yay! Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. You mean Melina what? from WrestleMania? Yes. I think she's donating a dress. <laughs> but yeah, um, but there's, there's, you know how like all our conventions, like especially wrestling ones, that we all get to hang out and stuff like that. And um, I'm so excited about it. And I'm going to be neighbors with you, Mickey, Tampa, and I think Orlando, right? Close by. Uh, I'll be there the 6th through the 9th. So call me. Okay, yeah. Maybe we can go to um, Hamburger Mary's. No, we're missing it. That's on Wednesdays. I just wanted oh, to see man, your reaction. I see Ginger. No, but I will say, I talked to a CJ, and you know I'm going back towards the end of the month, and they will be back in town out of Hawaii. They were going on vacation or something, so Ooh. they're going to be back in town, so we're totally going to play. Oh my God, I can't wish the videos. I, know. I wish I could be a part Bingo. of that and a part of Mania Weekend. But of course, I'll be all the way here in England, but I'll be keeping an eye on all of the WrestleMania auctions. And oh. I'll be watching all the stuff with you guys in WWE and WrestleCon and all of your events. But I'm just going to say one last time, guys, before we sign out here. First of all, like this video, subscribe. Make sure you click that bell icon to enable notifications. We're here every Wednesday night. Thank you, Mickey. Every Wednesday night at 5 p.m. Eastern, we're always in the live chat. But guys, if we can just implore you one final time to please make your bids for this amazing cause. It's our first yes. WrestleMania. If you support us individually, together, support God TV. If you support female empowerment and, and a great cause and philanthropy and wanting to do better, wanting to make change, please donate all you can to Girl Up. And, of course, donate on uh, bid on all these dresses from our fabulous ladies in the description. GawTV.com. That's where you need to go right now. Bid now, and we will see you next time. We'll see you Wednesday, actually, at 5 p.m. Eastern for a new episode of Gaw TV. Ladies, any final words to our fans that are totally going to bid right now because we told them to? Right now. Well, I, I don't know if I could have said it any better, Val. Oh. I know, Val. Honestly. You know As you do. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. We, yeah. We're going to so cheers to you. Cheers to Dresselmania. To Dresselmania. Dresselmania. First ever. It's incredible, and we're just so, so, like, seriously – we're grateful. Like it's been, this has been fun to put together and it's just, I can't believe the response. So. Yay. And to girl up to all of you guys who are bidding. Thank you so much. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Happy Dresselmania. Ow. Ooh. <laughs> Lisa. Woo. Go, yo, go.